Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and welcome to Juniper Grove Farm. This is our Beefmaster herd. We have a mix of red and black Beefmaster cows, and they are part of our cow calf operation with breeding. This is Cherry right here. She is one of the friendliest animals on the property. I'm sorry, I don't have food for you. I'm very sorry. I do not have food for you. Good girl. Yeah, all of our animals are very hand gentle. Good girl. Very hand gentle. And all of them are going to live long lives. All these animals are going to live for their full life extent, which is an average of around 16 years. That is a good life for a cow, is 16 years. All of our animals out here, these are this is our main herd, and all of these animals actually have names. This, this is Cherry. Right over there we have Blondie, we have Ottawa. All the animals, just like people, have distinct characteristics to where I can tell which ones are which. Every single one of these animals has a name, and that's, I feel like that's something special that we do for all of our animals. Rose, you want some food? You want some food? These are our yearling peppers. These are all female. Ow! <laughs> she chomped me. I'm gonna just put the food on the ground for her. Yes, you're just a sweetie. You want food. Now they all... So far we've named quite a few of those. The one going right up to the camera right now is Rose. Now right now, we're at an in-between stage in fall where they have summer grass that's dying away and we have new rows of winter grass growing. Hey baby, some food. I've got plenty of food. Now, during this time we're gonna give them hay to supplement for this. But once, once the summer grass has completely died off, the winter grass is what's gonna grow up and keep them healthy all winter. You all stop fighting. Don't even... Come right here. Good girl. I know you bit me. I know you bit me, but you're still a good girl. Yeah, they're very sweet now. Good girl. Yeah, look at that. Let me scratch her. When they got food, they're not worried about anything else. They love it when we give them food. I don't know if they love us, but I know that they love food. That's one thing for sure. Yes. Happy cows. Happy cows. What are you doing? What are you doing, little baby? Now this is Cookie and her newborn baby. This baby was born just a few days ago, and this is the newest addition to Juniper Grove. This little adorable baby. Now this is a little girl calf, a little, little, it's called a heifer. It's an unbred cow. She's very cute, yes. You're very cute. And she's going to drink milk from her mom until she's weaned. And weaned me just means they come off of milk. And then she's going to do, just like her mom, she's going to eat grass and eat, eat feed that we give her. Now, they're normally born, these cows are born, I'd say about 60 to 80 pounds when they're born is the average weight. And I believe that most of our cows have a low birth weight, meaning that they're born normally in the high 60s low 70s range, which is a very good size to be born at. Very cute little animals. Now when they're born, they're born in these fields, and like I said, from the sizes anywhere between 60 and 80 pounds with our animals, and after they're born, the first thing that they got to do is stand up and drink milk. That is the first thing that they do, and it's really important that they stand up and drink milk because then they can grow up strong. She's drinking milk, she's standing, and she runs around a lot. When they're babies, they're very happy. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? This is Red Bull. He is our herd bull. He's a registered beef master cow. Oh, look at him. He's so happy about his food. Wow. He is 
absolutely, he's absolutely massive. He is over 2,000 pounds. He is just an absolute beast. He doesn't have horns. He has what's called scourge. And that is, that is something that is left over from breeding out horns. So it's much better than ever dehorning an animal. The best way to deal with horns is just to breed it out of cows to where all that's left is this little nub, little hard nub. You can see he is completely fine with me doing this. Not all animals are like this. He has an amazing disposition and he was hand raised to be like this. You like your food, don't you? You like your food. like that food, don't you? Look at me next to him. He's absolutely a beast. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.